guys, welcome to Storytime with Quetta on Quetta's View. So this is my view on my childhood. So let's get right into it. Uh, what I wanted to start with today was my early childhood memories. So some of my earliest memories are of just me with my family. So I grew up in New York in the upstate area. And I was raised uh, at Seventh-day Adventist. And my parents, my parents raised us a little different in, and they really had us into like the Bible and the truth. And I, as an adult, am really happy about it now, but back then it was like, oh, okay. Even at six, I was feeling a little like, you know, my parents are weird, I don't want to be weird, stuff like that. But, um, so, one of my earliest memories is that every single day until I was about 16 years old, my parents woke us up in the morning and we sang a song and read the Bible and prayed every single day. And before we went to bed, every night, I mean, we probably maybe skipped two or three times to me, I mean, it seems like, we sang a song, read the a chapter in the Bible and prayed every night. Now that I'm an adult, it's a great thing. But uh, back then it was like, ooh. Yeah, but it was one of my earliest memories. And so that is something that has been like a foundation point in my life. Something that I really value and I'm thankful for now. Um, but back then, <laughs> first thing we would do is sing. And no matter what instrument my dad had in his hand, he played it. He didn't know I played any instruments, but he played that and we all made a joyful noise. Uh, so every morning, sing, pray, sing, read, pray, every evening, sing, read, pray. And um, that is my earliest memory of us getting together doing that. Um, another one of my early memories is my mom, my sister's birthday when she turned, I think she turned five, because I think I was four, um, and my, we had a big birthday party. I think my cousins came. It was really fun. I remember it being fun. And I remember my mom made my sister a banana cake, because my sister loved bananas. And when I was little, I hated bananas. I mean, like, hated bananas. I remember distinctly realizing how much I hate bananas when I was eating the banana cake. And then I remember um, that after a few hours, the bananas, like on top of the cake or somewhere, were turning brown, and it was like signifying this is why you don't like bananas, they rot very fast. So, that's another one of my early memories. But, um, uh, a memory that I hold really dear to my heart is I said I was raised in the Seventh day Adventist church, and my dad was really, you know, spiritual or whatever, but when it came to church time, sometimes. He's off out, and I guess that's where I get it from. I don't know. But um, so most, whenever I would sit next to him, he would pick a picture in like one of the little books they had at the back of the pews, and like a drawing picture that, you know, like a little cartoon, scripture cartoon or something. And we would both get a piece of paper, and he would say, whoever, um, you know, did the best with drawing it just like the picture would get ice cream or something like that or he was just I can draw better than you I'd be like no I can draw better than you this is me at five I'm very competitive and so um I don't know every single time we drew it he would say he drew better and I kind of always thought I drew it better to me that I could always see his flaws and I never seen mine for some reason at five yeah I never seen any flaws in my drawings I know I did it the best and he was like, no, <laughs> I did it the best. I really wish I had some of those drawings now to really see if I was as good as I thought I was. Um, but he would always encourage me to draw, always, my whole life. And it was kind of that moment when we would be in church and he would sunk out of whatever hour or three hour long service we were in. Uh, and me and him would draw together, and that is a special memory I have in my heart about my dad. So, I do remember a lot of times when my dad zonked out in church, like, not zonked out, but I've 
sat through some long services. So when he would, I guess, get tired in church, I don't know, uh, we would leave. And I remember him taking us to the park right down the street on nice days. We would feed the ducks. I mean, we did a lot of stuff. And so since we were Saturday Adventists, it was the Sabbath, so we wouldn't really do too much, but we would just walk around and have an amazing time. And then he would always get us back to me. I remember him always getting us back in time for service to end. <laughs> I don't know if my mother approved or not, but I thoroughly enjoyed those times. Um, another memory uh, that I have is of my brother. I remember my mom doing his hair. <laughs> and he always had better hair than me and my sister. I don't know, for some reason his hair always grew longer than ours and I don't know why. And I wasn't jealous of his hair because like he had long hair so my mom had to do it. My hair wasn't that short either but I don't know, I just have a memory of my mom braiding his hair in one braid going back. And him looking really weird. I used to think he had an egg head. <laughs> So, if you're watching this, bro, yes, I am picking on you. Um, one of my earliest memories of my sister uh, is us fighting. I remember my mom bought, had these two dresses. She had three dresses. Uh, and two of them were pink and black, and they were matching. <laughs> and my, she had one dress that was pink. It was kind of like the other ones, but it was all pink, no black in it. And me and my sister fought over that dress, like, always. And I felt like she always got to wear the dress. I don't really ever have a memory of winning that war and wearing the dress. I don't know if it didn't fit me. I don't know where, <laughs> where that memory is. So mom and, and Nell, if you're watching this, you can correct me on that. I don't really know anything else. I'm just, that's my earliest memory of my sister. Us fighting over that pink dress. My cousin had given us a beautiful dress. It was like puffy. Uh, kind of ballerina style, it was red and green, it was gorgeous. And I remember me and my sister used to fight over that dress too. It's funny to say that about dresses, that um, I do have a distinct memory of every time before I was five or six years old, hating to wear dresses, unless it was a specific pink dress or the colorful red and green dress that my uh, cousin gave us. Um, I'm gonna try to draw a little doodle so you can see these dresses the way I remember them. <laughs> so now let me know if they didn't look like that. Uh, but these are just uh, things that I remember from being five and six. And thinking about it now, maybe I just didn't fit me and it fit her. Um, funny thing about dresses though, except for the pink dress and the brown dress, I didn't like wearing dresses. I remember I used to like wearing like leggings. We had these flower leggings with lace around the bottom and I just think they were so cute. And I thought I was so cute in them. Um, I used to like wear overalls and jeans and I thought my mom dresses up pretty cute for 90s kids. Um, but every time she put me on some kind of pants, I was like, yes, you know, let's run around and play and cr climb trees. Where's my sister? Well, I mean, she did the same thing. She loved wearing those kind of clothes too, but she was always ready to get dolled up. I didn't really prefer that. Um, <laughs> I was not really a tomboy, but climbing trees and riding bikes was more fun than wearing a pretty dress and having to sit still. I remember not liking to sit still. <laughs> Which most five-year-olds don't like to sit still because I have a five-year-old daughter right now and she likes to go, 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 go. And when it's time to just sit still, she would rather just stand in the middle of the floor and jump, 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 jump. So, <laughs> um, she probably gets that from me. So, I just wanted to share some of my earliest memories with you so that you can get to know me a little better. Um, but I'm going to try to at least post one of these a week. Um, so, let me know in the comments what your earliest memory is. And let me know if you liked this video and if I should do more of these. Please leave me a comment and please subscribe to my channel, uh, Quetta's View. Hit the like button and if you want the notification bell so that you can see when more videos come out. And I just want to say, Mwah! I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.